Elizabeth Holmes, once hailed as the next Steve Jobs, is the founder and disgraced ex-CEO of healthcare company Theranos. The Inventor. Out for Blood in Silicon Valley, a new documentary that chronicles the story, premieres on HBO on March 18. Holmes' fortune was once estimated at $4.5 billion. Elizabeth Holmes' story was almost destined for the screen from the start. If you're looking for a gateway to the breads of the world, you'll find it in Brian Ford. The professional baker, cooking show host, and cookbook author has made it his mission to reveal that the beauty of bread and pastry extends beyond French croissants and baguettes. It has centuries of tradition in Guadalajara sandwich shops, Colombian pastelerias, and other corners of the world. Ford shares his experiences as a Bronx-born, New Orleans-based baker with Afro-Honduran roots and general love for bread on many platforms. You can find his first cookbook, New World Sourdough, published last year, wherever books are sold, watch his upcoming show on Chip and Joanna Gaines' Magnolia Network on Discovery+, Plus, or find many recipes and food pics on his website or Instagram, at Artisan Brian. If all of that turns you into a bread nerd, join Ford on Patreon for exclusive sourdough discard recipes from gingerbread cookies to garlic butter gnocchi. Ford used to work as a CPA and, hated it, Ford wasn't always a professional baker. The now 32-year-old author spent seven years working as an accountant before following his food dreams, according to the Miami New Times. The stranger-than-fiction, real-life tale of fraud, secrecy and con artistry caught the attention of Oscar-winning filmmaker Alex Gibney. The Inventor. Out for Blood in Silicon Valley, his documentary chronicling the deception, will be available to watch on HBO on March 18. Holmes. A Stanford University dropout who was once considered a Silicon Valley wunderkind and hailed as the next Steve Jobs, was expected to revolutionize healthcare with at-home blood testing devices made by her company, Theranos. Forbes named Holmes No. Ford had known for many years that he enjoyed cooking. He and his wife, Alicia Doma, met at Loyola University and often held cooking classes and catered dinner parties for sororities and fraternities. One on its list of America's richest self-made women in 2015, when her net worth was an astonishing $4.5 billion. But it all came crashing down in late 2015 when a series of investigative reports from the Wall Street Journal alleged that Theranos, the $9 billion startup Holmes founded in 2003, was nothing more than smoke and mirrors. Though he found his side business, fulfilling, he carried on with his accounting degree. After moving to Miami, Ford re-embraced his baking craft, selling bread to small businesses and markets while still working as a certified public accountant, via Miami New Times. In 2018, he quit his job to volunteer at a local bakery. Holmes rebuked the allegation, but her defense was no match for federal investigators and she was indicted on fraud charges in 2018. Here's what you should know about this controversial figure in tech. Birth date. Feb. He didn't gain notoriety in the food world overnight. He spent many, long, hard, broke, years, dragging wood-fired ovens around Miami and doing pizza pop-ups to make ends meet, he said on Instagram, but doesn't regret his career change. If you were on the fence about making the choice between living your dream or being complacent, live the damn dream, he finished the post. His cookbook is about redefining sourdough sourdough, Ford points out in New World Sourdough, is any type of naturally leavened bread in which fermented flour and water, rather than commercial yeast, cause the loaf to rise and take on that characteristically funky, acidic flavor. As Ford gained experience in the baking world, he realized that the public perception of sourdough was limited to a single style, the crispy, structured loaf with a slashed crust from places like Tartine Bakery in San Francisco. That leaves other types of sourdough, like Indian doses and Armenian lavash, out of the conversation, Ford told Food and Wine. 3. 1984 net worth. Estimated at $25 million primary source of income. Founder and ex-CEO. Theranos career highlight. Founder and ex-CEO. Theranos Elizabeth Holmes net worth. Estimated at $25 million along with her public fall from grace, Holmes' $4.5 billion net worth plummeted as the scandal surrounding her unfolded. A dense loaf of pan de coco is no less sourdough than a crunchy batar with an open, light crumb, he writes. Ford is proud that his book teaches techniques from North, Central, and South America, especially those from his Honduran heritage. I made a cookbook that not many people would expect from someone who looks like me, he wrote for HuffPost last month. In 2016, Forbes revised its list of America's richest self-made women and estimated Holmes' net worth to be $0. In 2017, the Wall Street Journal reported that Holmes owed her company a debt of about $25 million.
That's really important to open the door for people to be more proud of the flavors that their culture has to offer and not to get made fun of. Ford wants baking to feel more approachable. Ford wants baking to be welcoming to all. In a settlement with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Holmes agreed to pay a $500,000 fine. That's why, New World Sourdough is an antidote to the stressful percentages, temperatures, hydration levels, and other means of perfection that have come to be associated with sourdough, writes Epicurious in its review of the book. With Theranos embroiled in legal fees by 2017, Holmes' current net worth is unknown, but it's safe to assume that it's nowhere near where it was at its peak. Theranos' big-name investors, Rupert Murdoch, the Waltons and more to propel Theranos' ascent. Holmes accepted cash injections from high-profile investors including Rupert Murdoch, a company linked to Carlos Slim, the Walton family, and the family of Betsy DeVos. She also inked a contract with consumer healthcare giant Walgreens, all with the full knowledge and understanding that her product not only didn't work, it had never worked. Elizabeth Holmes' personal life Holmes seems to exist in the gray area between obsessive secrecy and paranoia. While Ford can appreciate the expert, crumb shot, of a tartine-style loaf of sourdough, he wants home cooks to remember that at the end of the day, baking is about feeding yourself, not about taking a pretty picture, via food and wine. I can't imagine that, for the thousands of years in which bread has been baked, the end goal of a perfect crumb structure and aesthetics dominated the conversations between the village miller and baker, he writes in his cookbook. To prove his point, the cover of the book shows a loaf of bread that's not sliced precisely in half, but ripped open with his hands, says Food and Wine. If you've ever been intimidated by the nearly lab-grade conversation around bread baking, Ford's recipes might be the ones for you. Ford's next cookbook will focus on Latin American baked goods in his second cookbook. Ford wants to shed light on the artisanal nature of the way people bake in Latin America, he shares in HuffPost. Even before the scandal broke, what was known about Holmes' personal life came from a finely crafted personal narrative. His previous work is a preview of what might be next. He's shared recipes for his favorite Honduran treat, pan de coco, dense little sourdough coconut rolls to be dipped in a variety of sauces, and has talked a lot about semitas, a brioche-style bread that's topped with crunchy sugar and enjoyed with coffee. On his blog and YouTube, he shares Spanish-language recipes, too, like one for pan cubano. While Ford wants to spread awareness and appreciation of Latin American baking, he doesn't want to paint it as something exotic or unfamiliar. It shouldn't be a novelty to make semitas, and it shouldn't be trendy or cool to like pan dulce, sweet bread, he writes for HuffPost. Her story touched on her idolizing her father and featured a childhood in which she was more interested in advancing mankind than playing with Barbie dolls. While in the office, her behavior could be categorized as quirky and driven by her reverence for the late Steve Jobs. Holmes, who often wore a black turtleneck in Jobs' image, boasted that she never took vacations and didn't own a TV, worked all the time and only went home to sleep, and kept to a strict liquid diet of green vegetable juices. Another quirky personality, President Trump's 15 surprising spending habits the charges against Holmes could mean up to 20 years in prison. More on net worth we make money easy. Get weekly email updates, including expert advice to help you live richer. This is just what people make in Latin America. Ford envisions a more inclusive future of food though Ford enjoys croissants. He's tired of seeing them as the dominant offering at most bakeries. The world is brown and black, if you really think about it, and the world doesn't eat croissants. One country eats croissants. How can we get people to make the bread that represents the world? He writes in HuffPost, adding that he wants to see breads from Africa, the Middle East, and other parts of the world in future bakeries. To help bakers of color get a seat at the table, Ford is currently working on Flaky Biscuit Media, which will amplify diverse voices through stories, recipes, community involvement, and audio, visual projects, according to Instagram. The project, based in New Orleans and New York City, should be live this summer. In the meantime, Keep up with it Artisan Brian not just for the perfect crumb shots, but also for plenty of puffy pizza, honey buns, and endless uses for sourdough discard.